this will be also the first time that I, uh, uh, one of the few times that people, I'm not actually playing the bass, I'm going to be conducting, but people are going to be hearing music that I've written, which, uh, which uh, a lot of people still don't know that I'm writing, that I'm uh, at this level. And uh, so I'm very excited about it. What's really good for me is uh, people get to hear the music, but they also get to find out a little bit more about uh, the life and, and the uh, incredible life of Elizabeth Catlett, and they find out who she is and how important she is as an American artist. Well, I have this book of sculptures that she's done, and uh, if you go to New Orleans, there's several sculptures that she did of Louis Armstrong. There's a huge one that she did there, and also I think there's one that's going to be, be released uh, of uh, uh, Mahalia Jackson that she's done. She taught at Dillard. I mean, she's there's a sculpture here in uh, New York City at the foot of uh, 150th Street and Riverside Drive uh, depicting uh, uh, The Invisible Man with uh, Ralph Ellison. And, and she's a very important... Uh, I just love those sculptures when I looked in the book. And I got involved with the BMI Composers Workshop, Jazz Composers Workshop that Manny Album and Bob Brookmeyer uh, started years ago. And Jim McNeely is there and uh, Mike Holliber. And I, I, I was part of that. After I left William Patterson after 20 years, as the director of the program there, uh, I was so excited to, uh, I've been barked on, I've been smitten by the process of com composition. And I've been very lucky to be around and have been played and recorded with some great composers. And uh, it always intrigued me, how did they come up with this stuff? And so I began to kind of get out of my box. You know, it's hard for everyone to kind of get out of their box or uh, you kind of get into your own way. Um, uh, and this workshop really kind of uh, liberated me and got me... Uh, uh, so I proposed uh, to write some music inspired by her sculptures, which I just loved. And and then eventually I got a chance to meet her, and and which was super thrilling. Uh, because uh, I didn't ever think uh, I would have that opportunity. And she invited my wife and I to Cuernavaca, Mexico, where she was living. She has three sons. One of her sons used to play with Sun Ra years ago. Really? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. But she's got three incredibly uh, <coughs> talented sons. Uh, one uh, is a film uh uh, filmmaker and uh, another is a sculptor uh, and so we got a chance to be around that world that was a very uh, um, learning experience and, and it just gave me, I always enjoyed going to museums and looking at you know, uh, some art And uh, but here again I had to look at it a little bit differently and just kind of ponder and think and uh, um, she seemed to be pleased with what I came up with, and uh, but I'm thrilled now that I actually have the opportunity to have it uh, documented uh, on a recording, which will be released in in, in the fall, and to to kind of uh, prelude the uh, the event is having it performed at Jen this year uh, on January second is really exciting. 